What's going on, guys? So today on this Double October review, we're going to be taking a look at another P. Bandai kit. Starting to feel like this was the year of P. Bandai over here on this channel. And we do have the H-Root. The H-Root. Uh, you know, I like to pick on these things. It's the Harut. But this happens to be the final battle version, which came out, uh, what was it, last year? Yeah, it, it did drop last year. I did pick this up uh, directly from the P Bandai store because I didn't want to risk not getting it. <laughs> and yeah, I know there were third party kits available to convert your old HG to this. But uh, Bandai said, screw you. We're going to make our own. So we have a nice image here of Harut on the front, probably an image of the actual kit, very much just colorized. You got a little Pac Man flying around, you got actually flight mode there. Awakening of the Trailblazer logo there looks really cool. And does say Bandai Spirits 2021 down there. And, you know, a color-coded uh, Bandai logo in the corner. And because it's P Bandai, we don't have a whole lot going on, except that the top image actually wraps around. There's something new. A root in big letters. I like that. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. And we do have, you know, all the main images condensed in one shot. Not bad. Not bad at all using this big giant beam blade scissor rifle i don't know it, it, it do all kinds of crazy shit okay all right it's just some big letters and there you got uh please don't let your three-year-old become a super soldier or they might end up piloting a uh, really ridiculous combo gundam you got pspe Poly, guy, poly bag, little guy with toilet, top cover, or whatever that's about. Classic models, ages 8 and up. Hey, I'm right in the middle of that. Uh, no reference for the front cover, which means it's just images of the kit itself. Cost, kind of irrelevant. I think it was like 45 some odd dollars. I don't remember if I'm honest. Oh, hey, hey. And uh, uh, P Bandai doesn't tend to re you know re-release things again on their site but i believe i could be wrong but i believe big bad toy store does have these available for a slightly higher price uh so if you're interested go check that out or just hit the uh hit the old google machine and see where you could probably get one you know and make sure you're buying original don't be buying the knockoff or get get uh wrapped in by the like third party uh like resin conversion kits you know and I don't know if they ever did like a B Club version. I know like the uh, a couple of like the Rizel and stuff like that were uh, B Club, and then they released them as real, real kits. Or I put the quotes in the wrong place. Released them as real kits. There we go. That's how you do quotes properly, dummy. All right, so let's get to this this orange orangey nightmare. I, I, there's seriously so much I have to very carefully. There's a lot of stuff on my desk, okay? Of course, I unpaused right when I need to sniff. Ah, dang it. All right, guys, here is Harut barely fitting in the screen, if I'm honest. Um, it does come with this stand here. Let me... Does come with this super basic stand with the extension in the middle. Because frankly, it's got some legs. And of course, it's you know main thruster cannon weapons are massive as well. Let me here, I'll push it back far enough so we can see the whole thing in one shot. Look at that. That is crazy. Actually, I'm gonna have to brighten it up just a little bit. There we go. And yeah, it is a very, very cool slight update to the original forgot to clean up some <laughs> forgot to clean up some panel line marker but it is what it is all right so let's show off some of its new features i'm gonna skip 
articulation on this guy because frankly it's pointless to try to show you articulation if i'm honest with you okay there might be a little too much light going on on that head there we go all right so and i don't know if this was true for the original one i can't recall but this is actually the marut face you have a choice between the normal harut face with green eyes and the marut face with red eyes and let's see here he does have six eyes in total one two three and four it's all molded in looks pretty cool now the bottom ones don't get a sticker or anything else like that it's just the bare plastic i did color in around the outside with a black panel line marker just to make it stand out a little bit more speaking of adding paint i uh, did so across the chest here inside the gaps on the shoulders inside the gaps of the crotch plates little spot there actually i compared it to my original to see where i needed to add it you got paint here there Oop, oh come down there though that that's a sticker it does come with so that's up to you if you want to put that one on there and if we come to the back, I don't think I didn't. I don't think I added too much. I think just a couple spots like here and there, and then I needed to clean up some panel line marker there, and then inside there a little bit more gray. Realistically, didn't have to add a whole lot more. And there's only a couple of stickers. You got the green kind of sensors there, and then buried in there somewhere there's probably a gn drive sticker i don't even recall i'm gonna zoom out a little bit here uh, oh i think there is another sticker so if we come over here to the arms so something i forgot this guy could do you could actually open the arm a bit and i think it's meant to be a gun like a machine gun so that's meant to slide up a little yeah, oh, it's meant to come up and then do this. Yeah, so that's supposed to be like the shooting form. That's right. Uh, had I recalled, I would have painted all that, but I didn't. Oh, well, it is what it is. Yeah, he's very, very cool and very, very big. So the main difference here, I'm going to pull him off the stand very carefully. Because it's right up in there. Come on. It's actually a polycap into the crotch, not just a hole. The biggest difference is, of course, the legs. Let me zoom out a little. Basically, he ends up with these just huge thruster legs. You know, they got these giant GN. Not GN drives themselves, but GN like cone-style thrusters. Very much like what's on the back of the Ptolemaios. And that is ridiculous. Now, I will give you a little bit of warning. Because this happened to me. So I put these on. So it is just a partial cone without the nose. The no main tip of it's on a shaft. You just slip it on. Then I panel lined it. And then it cracked badly. You can see here. And I checked. It is styrene. So it's just, it's just weak enough that uh, just be careful when you panel line. And you can see cracks on the other side too. Now, what I did just to remedy that, I just took some thin cement, soaked it basically uh, inside and out, and then glued it in place, and then uh, sanded it down to hopefully make sure it stays as one piece, you know, over time. But basically, what you end up here is with a really ridiculous lower leg that, you know, you can move, but, you know, you lose, you lose your foot, you lose everything. It was real bad. I went ahead and panel lined and, of course, painted the details on all of the leg and feet parts just to not have to use any of them. It's kind of stupid, if I'm honest. Another change that you do get is with these, and it's that the clear edge. So the blade is clear along there instead of being green, green translucent. Let me plug that back in. And set that down carefully. The other new addition, realistically, is these little little choppy chop blades. So yay for choppy chops. You do get two of them. 
like so and it says you can plug them onto whatever in the instructions it's like hey plug it onto here have it look like it's flying around and as far as i could tell there's no storage for these like like the actual gundam has nowhere to put these as far as i can tell um i was kind of hoping you can like stick them inside the forearms or something or somewhere on the backpack or i don't know i mean considering it's a backpack it's kind of ridiculous <laughs> all right so i'll bring out the only true comparison all right so there it is next to the standard issue hurt um yeah the, the the new legs definitely add some some length to the body. Uh, it's it's kind of kind of absurd if if I'm honest with you. So like he's also sitting just a little bit lower, so like at head level, you know, it would be there. So significantly more significant more legs. Also, this is the standard face over here versus the mirrored face. Which I don't know if it was a full within the thing, if it's a full face change. So this one comes with virtually every part that I could tell to make this kit. Like it had all the legs, it had all that kind of stuff. And realistically, since the legs are the main things that change other than the face, which it also comes with, if you just wanted to build one, you know, just whatever, you could. Also, one thing I considered. I really, really, really considered was just building the the new parts and adding them to the old one. So that's that was something I thought about doing, treating it as an add-on kit or a parts kit instead of an actual full-on thing. But then I wouldn't be able to do a cool review for you guys, you know. But the one thing I believe they're really, really missing out on is the green blades from the side here. I think the clear ones just kind of make it boring. So I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I'm going to steal the ones off this one and put them on that one for display purposes. Just to make it look cool overall, you know. By the way, guys, I wanted to add this little addendum in here. Uh, apparently, what I didn't realize, uh, these blades aren't, aren't green from the factory. I painted that with some green metallic uh, clear because I can actually see it peeling. Or got scraped right here. So I actually made those green. I think they're meant to be green. It looks like I painted one side. Yeah, it looks like I painted this back side and then it's showing through as green. Because I'm fairly certain they're meant to be green. And Bandai didn't give that to us. So uh apologies if you were thinking, hey, Shoki's crazy, they don't come in green. Uh yeah, you're technically right, because uh they don't. <laughs> uh so I can just if I feel like it paint those i do think that they just don't stand out if you don't do it that way so okay just wanted to throw that in <clears throat> but for the most part i added essentially all the same paint details just from it just for the heck of it which basically meant only just using my uh favorite dark gray ever which is pretty much done as it goes as a as a paint i really need to get some more of it if I'm honest with you. So let me pull the weapon out real quick. Just so you guys can see. You can pull that up. And it will lock into place. And you have. A. Camera sticker. Right up in there. Looks really good. Um, I think. Did I make that one? I'm trying to remember. Because on one of them I had to do that. Uh, one of the last two that I've done. I had to do that. I think. it Was it this one? I don't know. Let me go check the other one. Oh, damn it, Dynamis. Because if the other one has it as a sticker, then I did it there, too. Uh, nope. That is... That's paint on this one. So, in theory, I took some of the green green sticker I had laying around and then added that. But I'm not sure. This, this is the problem with building so much in a few days. I don't remember what all I've done. But you also get the flip-down handle... Or gun mode, which actually ain't that easy to pull out. So you can pull that out of there. And he can hold it. Like so. You know, you can do it that way. Or if you're going to go blade style. You know, push the handle back in. 
And by the way, I did add gray paint in here. It didn't come out as good. That's And I forgot to get it inside here. But he can use it like a sword if you take apart the hand, put it in there like this. But for me, it's mostly a fly around and catch, catch people in it type of weapon. You also have the large cannons on the back. You have the missile launchers built in there, which a difference between the old one and then this one. I didn't paint the top of the missile launcher panels. And then once again, you have these guys. Now, I wish they had just included a small hole somewhere just for storage sake. Um, even like it feels like something they could have easily integrated and they just chose not to. Okay, so let's transform it real quick. It's not that difficult. Not really, actually. Okay, so we want to pull the chest out. It's on a little slider. Come on. And then we'll fold it up into the face. Like so. And then you want to turn the hands outward. Turn the shoulder, I'm sorry, the uh, bicep. in so it's like this and then tuck that in straightening out the arm and then we're going to hinge at the shoulder armor which doesn't seem to want to hinge come on buddy there we go okay shoulder armor needs to come up arms go down to the side basically like this Okay. Oh, that's right. It's clipped in. It's got a clip in for that shoulder piece. That's right. Or you just take the entire arm apart instead. So turn that, turn that in. Do that. Hands sideways. Come on. Shoulder goes up. There we go. Arm down at the side. Legs just sort of finagle them. It's not easy. It's like, it's very cumbersome. Making sure everything is lined up. It's super, super cumbersome. It's like Seven Mary Three said. I have become cumbersome. Okay. Now that all that's done, fold the wing parts down, fold the quote unquote cockpit down and fold the weapons down like so. And now you've got all this going on and it becomes a giant flying monster of doom. Let me readjust the stand here. There we go. And now you have to plug that in to the GN drive, which is right in the crotch. I like that this one stuck with the GN drive in the crotch design. You know, and got away from the in the chest design. There we go. Fold that back. Kind of wish there was more locking points, if I'm honest with you. Because it doesn't really stay, especially that chest piece doesn't really like to stay. And there went one of its top fins here. I'll put that back on here in a second. All right. So either way, we have Harut in final battle flight mode. Looking ridiculous. I don't know. I got to find an angle here. There we go. Come down on it like so. Yeah. And I don't think that there's like any transformation with the legs. I don't think there is. Because, I mean, I mean, best case scenario, they would turn one way or the other, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I mean, you don't really mess with it too much. It just looks like that. Got a Ptolemyus gig. And, of course, we need to do comparison. And there. This is where we honestly don't see a ton of difference between the two. This, I mean, it's just, it's just coming down to that leg modification because everything else is essentially the same, uh, except for the angle. This one is now currently dangling. The angle of the dangle is wrong. Let me adjust. 
There we go. That's a little bit nicer. Give him an upward swept angle there. So, I mean, you're swapping out, just like dangling out duck feet for enormous, enormous back thrusters, essentially. So, is it a cool, cool conversion? Sure. Did we need the entire kit versus just the new legs and weapons? Eh, I don't know. I probably would have been okay with just converting my old one, assuming I hadn't glued anything in a permanent position, you know? I think it would have been perfectly serviceable to just give us the new the new add-on parts. In fact, they could have just given us the legs already pre-assembled because, I mean, for the most part, you're just kind of plugging the legs in place. Sticker placement is almost all exactly the same. You know, the detail work is all exactly the same. The only difference is really the legs and then these stupid little clippy, clippy choppy parts. And then, of course, a V-fin. Now, of course, the modified head is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. I actually do dig that. But, you know, ultimately, mm, not necessarily worth the extra, extra, extra price just to get this. But, I mean, many of you have already done the conversion, so you don't care. Or, many of you never bought the regular one in the first place, so maybe you do care to actually pick this one up while you're at it. And just for giggles... There it is next to the Quanta, because the Quanta is still sitting here. You know, since we're doing since we're doing some trailbreaker kits here, I might as well bring out the Quanta. Yeah, I just got to put that V fin back on. But for the most part, you know, I did enjoy it. It was a surprisingly fast build, even though I painted quite a bit of it. But uh, still very nice repetitiveness. Actually, wasn't that bad because I mean, he was only repeating the weapons like once, realistically. And then the new versions of the legs were so simple and actually less complex than the standard legs that went together really fast. Um, I think the only major letdown is the uh, lack of green blades. So, like I said, I'm probably just going to steal my old ones, put them on here. Nobody will be the wiser. And these just feel cheap. Especially because those are wraparound stickers. If you have a really nice metallic green paint, like super fine metallic green paint, this probably would come across cool. I think this is a dumb, dumb weapon. Also, you do get a sticker for right here, but I went ahead and painted that because I had paint all the other details as it goes. But if you want to play Battleship with them, they do work out really well here on the display base because they're totally like the same shape as battleship pegs but either way guys that's going to be it for this harut review let me know what you think down below do you prefer the final battle or the regular also marut or harut mode which one do you like better also i guess i never got why it changed now i know <laughs> it's like harut marut mari hallelujah i get it I get it, because they're both technically pilots in this Gundam. So, all right, guys, I'll see you later. Oh, and uh, if you want to see a bit more detail about the um, articulation and stuff, go check out the original review. I'll try to remember to link it in the back. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you later. Remember, as always, keep on building. <laughs>